Hey everyone, so today I am not going to be working on the solar kiln, believe it or not. I'm going to pick up some free logs. Um, so as a lot of you know, about a week ago we had a pretty treacherous storm rip through here and tore down a lot of trees in the area. And when I had noticed a lot of the trees lying down and the logs and the potential in a lot of that wood, I know from watching these things happen in the past that a lot of times these logs just sit around rot or get burnt um, and I'd really hate to see that happen to logs that could potentially be turned into something that could be used um, some useful material and of course I certainly could use it so I stopped at a couple of houses I posted some things online and I found about a half a dozen people who have quite a few trees down that need them taken away and so I luckily caught most of them before they cut them up at all and so most of them are pretty long and I can go up and cut them up to size and bring them home so I'm going to show you here real quick just a little bit about the trailer that I use so you can see I have actually already gone and picked up one load from downtown when they the trees initially fell I stopped and saw one of the tree companies that the town had hired to pick up some of the trees and asked them if I could grab some so I came up grabbed my trailer and picked up one load so I have some logs over in the yard that I already grabbed for the mill so they're not great but they're free and they were only like two miles from my house so I really couldn't turn that down so this is the trailer I use and what it is if you can't already tell by looking at it is a former horse trailer and so the horse trailer was then chopped and the top was taken off and then turned into a utility trailer and this utility trailer was used by a friend for quite a while and then I bought the trailer from him last year and so I've been using it and after I bought it from him I made one modification to it <clears throat> I actually had to do a couple things first thing I had to do was replace the jack which was broken so that's all set um, I use magnetic lights for it because I have a tendency to break lights and things like that and bump into things and of course loading logs onto here if I put permanently fixed lights on here I'm probably going to smash them so I have magnetic lights worst thing they get knocked off if they get broken for 30 40 bucks I go buy another set and um, they're pretty portable so they're really easy and I can move them from one trailer to another so they're very simple and um, I may at some point show you how I do that and maybe give you a link to where you can get those from but anyway <clears throat> I have this 8,000 pound winch and what I did was a friend of mine um, at one point had to repair his bumper on his Jeep and he actually did it here in my yard and when he did that he left his old bumper he actually asked if he could leave it and I said sure I'll use them I'll use the steel from it so he left it which actually worked out pretty well and what I did was I went and picked up a hitch and receiver and I actually happen to have some C-channel steel I think it's quarter inch steel um, might even be three inch steel but it's pretty thick so I cut this C-channel to fit the frame and hopefully you can see that but I cut this C-channel here to fit the frame I welded across the tongue of the trailer and then I cut a notch in and mounted the receiver for the hitch here and then I put the hitch in here and then I welded I cut the center of his Jeep bumper which actually has a winch mount built into it I cut that middle section out I welded it to the hitch and I actually slide just slide the hitch right into here and the nice thing about that is I can take my winch off the trailer and I can put it into the hitch of my truck if I just need to use the winch for something and I don't need to use the trailer with it so that works out really well I just used a flex core welder to do all of this made sure I got really good uh, penetration in the steel when I was cooking it and it took some time but it holds up really well I've actually pulled some large logs onto this trailer um, enough where I've actually pulled my truck and trailer like uphill <laughs> with the winch so it, it holds very good so the reason I'm sharing all this with you right now is with all with the storm and everything that we just had there's a lot of trees around and a lot of people are waiting for me to come pick those up 
So I probably have, this trailer is 10 feet long. <coughs> I estimate I probably have, I don't know, 10 loads of logs to bring back here. And they're all within probably two miles of my house. So I'm, my priority is going to be to get those back here because it's, they're only going to be available for a short time, as you can imagine, with a storm. And when people have trees down, they're going to want those out of their yard fairly quickly. Um, so that everyone has a pretty good understanding that it might take me uh, a week or two to get them. And they're all willing to hold, them on, hold on to them for me. So I'm pretty excited about that. So I'm going to go, I'm making that kind of my priority right now. So I'm going to go grab those logs. I'm going to get my chainsaw and um, make sure I have some good sharp chains and get everything prepared so I'm good and ready. So when I get there, I have everything I need. My cant hook well, or log hook or whatever, PV. Um, and uh, yeah. So I'm going to make sure I have a good battery for my winch, bring my jumper cables in case I need to run it off my truck battery, make sure I have everything I need and at some point I'll go over that whole setup and show you um, all the things that I do to kind of prepare to go out and grab logs. I'm probably going to pull my camera out now and record a bunch of this, actually I definitely am, and I will make a separate video with a lot more detail of me picking up the logs and how I prepare to go out and get the logs. And that sort of thing. Some of them I'm actually going to drive my backhoe out. I got to take the chains off the tires, but I'm going to take my backhoe out and drive, you know, a mile out to these houses where I can actually just use the backhoe to lift the log right onto the trailer and make it even easier. But the winch works pretty well. At some point, I do plan on plan on putting a log arch on the back of the trailer. So this way, I can, if you've ever watched Matt Carmona's channel um, and some others actually have done this. They have a log arch where this big metal arch will, can lean down, a chain's hooked onto it, and then you can pull the arch up with your winch, and it lifts the log up in the air and then onto the trailer. The downside of not having the log arch, as you can imagine, is when I'm pulling a log over to the trailer, I still have to lift that log up about, I don't know, a foot, maybe uh, 14 inches or so. To get it up onto the trailer and depending on the size of the log you know a log like this one isn't that bad but when you get a log that's 20 30 inches in diameter they're not light so they're not easy to lift up so i have to get a little creative <laughs> to get them on there so i want to build a, a log arch at some point in the very near future um, so that'll be another project coming up so i just wanted to give you an update as to what i'm working on now and what you can expect to see coming up i have the framing of the roof done uh, for the solar kiln and I have video recorded for that that I need to edit. I this weekend plan on putting the polycarbonate roofing on there so at least the rain will stay off of it and I probably won't get back to working on the kiln until next week at some point due to the fact that I'm going to try to pick up all these logs over the next week. And then I'll be able to get back to the kiln build and get the sheathing on it and finish that up, do everything else that needs to be done with that, load it, and then I can get to milling all these logs that I'm picking up. So there's quite a bit of stuff coming up. Also tonight at about 8 p.m. I plan on going live on this channel where I'm just gonna probably go live from the shop maybe and uh, just have a chat. I was actually thinking about maybe going over the plans for the solar kiln and kind of talking about what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and how I came up with the plan. So. Anyway, a lot of stuff going on. Um, I hope you're all interested in that thing, that sort of thing. Um, I know I am. I'm having fun with it, so I'm just going to do it, and hopefully you're um, up later and willing to jump on and chat with me. So anyway, I'm going to get to it. I only have so much time, and I will see you in a little while. Talk to you later. Take care. Hope you have a great day.